Hey everybody, Mercs Rain back again. Let's get this going. We need to rebuild our population. We're at 13 out of 20. We're doing quite a bit better than we were at the beginning of our last episode. However, right, we do have a problem, and that problem is the uh, the humans of France, France of uh, they are attacking, and uh, it's not fun. It's not fun at all. We need to get a new wall in, stone wall, right there, because they're like they break through. Pretty crazy. I didn't know that they could do that. Uh, this is certainly learnings for our next keep, right? We don't want to build right next to the wall, right? We want to go in quite a ways. Like, it would have been much better if we had done a mess of traps or something over here and then built our whole keep way back here, right? That would have been way better. <sighs> this goblin warrior is insane, which is not the best. I'm, I'm highly debating taking him, though, because we need people. We need hands. Hands to hold swords. Oh, my God. Uh, <laughs> he just came in and started attacking our dude. Oh, no. Oh, oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, all right. So I think he killed a different warrior. What can we do here? Can we just banish him? Vanish. Yup. Get out of here. Get out of here. Ah. That was that was a huge mistake. Now we know. Never take an insane guy. Not worth it. What is this? Preda the vampire warrior with flying? Yes, please. Yes, please. Large and made of rotting flesh. Interesting. Ah, we keep getting artificers. Oh, look, this guy's a legendary craftsman, but also insane. Mm. A lot of good that does. This guy should have a sword, right? He should have a sword, and you don't need the sword. This guy should also have, like, that. And just pick up some other things, sure. Sure. Vulnerable to magic, but he's still a warrior. Let's grab him. Oh, oh, I don't know when we got this, but I have one research available, and probably that was sitting there the whole last episode, and I missed it. All right. What can we do to help us out here? Uh, chicken breeding. I don't know what the chickens do. Jewelry. Magical rings. This could help, right? Maybe you can get, like, defense rings or something. Maybe. Distillation. Mm, okay. Beers for dwarves. We're not dwarves. Two-handed weapons. This could be something, right? Get our get our warriors or whatever with big clubs in their hands. We also have magical weapons or master sorcery. Demonology. Hmm. Hmm. I think. Oh, this this is a this is a hard decision. Melee weapons that deal magic damage. So, is this something that a warrior would use, or is this something that a wizard would use? I don't quite know. But Master Sorcery, I know, is going to give us access to new spells. So, let's do it. And, now we also, in order to get them, are going to have to build ourselves some golden bookshelves. So, let's find a spot for those. I don't care too much <laughs> where they go so they're just gonna go right in here we'll get four of them we'll get four of them uh, down below we are gonna want to I think dig down again oh, we want dig downstairs and I'm gonna put it like over here
Hates all elves. Welcome. Welcome. All right, we got a guy coming to do the stairs. We're gonna slow it down. Uh, just because when he's done, I don't want him to walk away. Here we go. Let's go down one more. Ooh, it's kind of open. That's kind of scary. Let's go ahead and control him. Got some lava. Don't know what that's good for. Might not be good for anything. All right. Look at our map. Our map shows that there is something down here, which is kind of scary. Let's go ahead and exit control mode. Get them moving again. Dig a line. Dig a line, any line. Straight down. We're going to get near it, but not quite over to it just yet. Want to dig all of this out. We're gonna want to dig all of that out. And all of that. Okay. Oh, more over here. Almost missed it. Okay, so now that we have everything sort of set to dig, we're going to have to dig paths over. I am concerned that this lava probably <laughs> is going to go, like, all the way down here somewhere. We're going to have to figure out how to cross it. But I guess we'll find out. And I'm also kind of concerned that there might be enemies down here. So we'll have to kind of pay attention to that. All right, so we have this guy training now over here. Has he learned any sort of new spells? I'm not seeing any just yet. Got a new werewolf? Take him. Got ourselves a new zombie? Take him. Let's also make sure that we have, like... Let's make sure we have plenty of, like, leather gear. Ooh, spell speed. I wonder if that's, um, like... Time to get your spells, uh, replenished? Not quite sure. Not quite sure. Get two bows going, too. Get some iron things going too since we have a bunch of iron and here comes the humans again they just won't leave us alone all right uh let's make sure we got everyone in our uh, in our team okay this time right let's go about this maybe a little differently if we can get them to come up towards the door and break the door I could sit here with an archer right so let's find out who's our best archer is it uh, one of these skeleton archers uh, how do I see it from here if it was okay so they are 17 plus 10 so 27 I guess this is it right there Bagamub is our best archer and can do melee right so that's good let's get them heading over this way Oh, they're going to just try and dig through the freaking wall again. <laughs> All right, that is our vampire. Oof, let's uh let's switch to the vampire. I I really don't want the vampire to die. I have a feeling he is going to be a really good one to like not die <laughs> if we can get him trained up. Yeah, he's not taking too much damage at all. Okay, do they do more damage when they're bears? <laughs> I bet they do. Alright, we want everyone to walk back one. 
but uh, that's gonna be really hard to do. Dumble, you're going up front. Oh, oh my goodness! <laughs> Okay, I want... Gotta come back. Yeesh! Oh. Wait, no. Hold on. Oh, it's because... It's because our vampire's in the way. Now the other one's running. Uh, it's daytime. Are you not gonna die? How far they can actually shoot if they had line of sight? It looks like that far. <sighs> um, I'm not gonna chase. I'm not gonna chase. We're gonna exit. Roll mode. I guess our harpy might chase. They're, they're gonna get away. I think. A blind zombie is not useful in the slightest. Okay. Okay. Let's see here. <laughs> oh, they're like trying to eat the, the stuff. I don't want them to eat that stuff. I use that stuff. Orders. Um, fetch items. Like all of that. What do we got over here? Anything? Bones. Anything in there? Fetch it. Okay. Kill the condor. Yeah. And fetch that too. New condor coming in. <sighs> Maybe a blind zombie is still worth it just as fodder? I don't know. It's, it's, it's hard to know, right? It's hard to know. Hard to know. When it becomes nighttime... Even if we're only at 15 out of 20, we're going to go on the offensive. We need to get them to stop attacking us. And so that might actually mean we want that guy too. Uh, vulnerable to match. He can disarm traps. Extra melee training potential. That's perfect. That's perfect. Did we lose our artificer again? No, we, we still have him. What are you doing? Sleeping? Sleeping on the job right there? I feel like we're going to need to replace this out with stone. Um, at minimum, you know what we should do? <laughs> we should get ourselves, like, a nice iron door right here. Um, and probably here. In case they break in again, right? We can do something. Get a few of them in. It's not going to hurt too much to have them, I don't think. In fact, why don't we put a few in the hallway, even? Something like that. Better than nothing. Better than nothing. Defense against humans. Yashneg, the hero. How many priests do we got? We got one. We're going to get two. With us being up to 18, as long as they get a little bit of training, you know, learn a spell or two a little bit of gear. I think we're going to be ready. Now then, because we have the undead, right, and they can't, uh, they're vulnerable to sunlight, we, we are going to have to be careful about how long we stay out on the offensive. It's all humans! Oh, wait, requires another bed. Ooh! Requires another bed. Well, you know what? We can get more beds right here. So let's just put them in right there. I always uh, forget that it's like living. It's just one I don't see. I expect it to be up higher. Uh, fine bed. We have, we've got iron now. Let's get some fine beds in. You know, I, I don't really know what luxury does. Uh, <laughs> it might might make the, the guys level up better or something. I'm really not too sure about that. But we are going to prioritize... Both of those. Boom. Got him. 
Uh, again, a slowed archer isn't going to be very helpful at all. Um, we need this guy to actually come in and get, like, gear. Let's, uh, let's see here. You need... <laughs> you need a club! I actually would like him to have more than a club, but we don't have any extra shields. Helmet. No extra gloves. Yeah, uh, I feel like we keep losing guys who are wearing armor, and then we're not picking it back up. I don't know why, but... We also have lots of stuff prepared for the artificer needs like slacking. Slacking. I don't I can't even see him. Oh, he's over. He's he's working on uh on the chain. Okay. Yeah. Good. Work on that chain. Uh I think we're good to go. It's nighttime. We're at 19 population at this very moment. So, before we are attacked again, let's get everyone in our our team. All right, and who is like our best melee? So we got a 25. We got a 28, Mr. Radburs. Preda, yep. You are Captain Preda. Okie doke, uh, control and attack. Click confirm, okay. They probably have, like, a defended sort of base. What just happened? <laughs> cave... Oh, the cave bear is killed. Okay, so was that... I think this was the guy who attacked our base. Like, he came back to his place and didn't move anywhere? We got bandit. We got peasants. We're gonna have to, uh... Take these guys out, but also, like, scout a bit to see where things are even at. Let's, uh, let's zoom ourselves in a bit. Um, order capture! We could always use more peasants, right? Open a chest. Weapon enchantment. Oh! Yeah, we'll take that. Gold, we'll take that. More gold. Perfect. So he has a sword of plus eight on him right now. Oh, he has bleeding. Attacker affected by regrow lost body parts. What does that mean? Does that mean he can regrow lost body parts or does that mean the person he's attacking? It probably means him. Extra attack in addition to wielded weapon. Wow. Oh, he's actually super good. All right, we're going to use the weapon enchantment. Now it's the plus nine sword. Perfect. Get him out of here. Uh-huh, uh-huh. We saw that there were bandits up top. Let's take a look real quick at uh, the map. See a bunch of, a bunch of green dots. Let's just go up. This is probably just, probably nothing. The bandit swings his club at you. Your skull is shattered. You are blind. The effect is permanent. No. Oh, oh, oh. It says he can regrow lost body parts, all right? <laughs> Hold on a second. Uh, let's, let's try to attack. Uh, I really want to know, can we somehow regrow a body part? Because everything in front of us should be an enemy, right? Maybe, maybe because our head's destroyed, we can't even attack, like, with, um... Oh, with our mouth? <laughs> Alright, uh, we, we gotta swap, because uh, at this point, I don't really know. We can't see, we don't know how many is left. Oh, that's, that's so disheartening. So disheartening. Let's uh, switch to this guy. Not that guy. Let's switch to... Bughash, the Goblin Warrior. Tribe of Bandits destroyed. Perfect. Let's get in there and see what's in there. Nothing. Nothing's in there. 
Uh, who, who do we actually want to be our next attacker? This guy, Golfin, has uh, 25 attack. That might be the, that might be our best. Unless I go like with the harpy. Let's try the harpy out a bit. So the harpy can also fly, right? So they could go straight over the water if we really wanted them to do that. Um everyone else can't do that. <laughs> Except for that human for some reason. Dead. Uh, our skeleton was able to go over the water. Kind of weird. Let everyone else come across. Alright, so did that person come from right up above or from down below? I guess we're about to find out. What is this thing? A flying carpet spirit? Uh... Huh? <laughs> All right, can I attack <laughs> like that? It doesn't look like it. Oh, what is this? Uh, it just says hostile? What? What is this? What is this? I don't know. I don't know. I don't want to attack that. Let's attack this guy. These look like ghosts. Break the door down. So, unfortunately, we broke only half of the door, right? The other one's still there. Uh, they're like three on one at the moment. So, we really need to get this other gate destroyed. Although that zombie is doing some work. What else we got in here? They're like growing trees? I think we just lost someone. Tribe of humans of Fransava is destroyed. Perfect. Now they'll stop attacking us. Oh my goodness, that's a lot of gold. We're gonna take uh, all the gold. Where's our weight at? I don't know if gold has weight. It does. Oh, we can afford so many statues now. <laughs> Oh, you know what? Uh, they have stuff on them, too, that I'm, like, totally skipping over. Um, glyphs for upgrading stuff. Okay, uh, we don't actually need to loot this now. We can loot it once we get back home. But let's keep exploring here. See what else we got. I imagine no one else here should be as tough. I saw a guy on a horse or something. We got a ghost back there. I mean, maybe I should order capture on some of these guys. Oh, the horse is gonna attack me. Can we can we capture the horse? Nah, we don't need it. Get rid of him. Perfect, perfect. Open that chest. I don't know if if you don't open the chest. Oh, like what? A rat popped out of that chest? Okay. Interesting. Um, if you don't loot the chests, if you can't, like, pillage after the fact, so... We're definitely gonna make sure we pillage everything. Except, you know what? I said that, and I think I missed one, because it's kind of hiding right here. Cool. Cool. Let's see what this other thing is over here. Ah, uh, it's where the ghosts are coming from. Can, can ghosts, like, 
be wiped off the map and whatnot. I've got no idea. Not a clue. Uh, let's do a, a tiny bit more exploration here before we have to head home. I, I mean, there's no more green uh, spots on the map, but you never know. Could be something, right? Like this! We didn't see this. Perfect. Yeah, let's get in there. Tribe of humans destroyed. Armor enchantment. Ooh. Yeah, we'll put that on your current armor, I guess. Iron gloves is improved. Oh, it can be anything. Kind of thought it would go right to the body piece. I don't know why I thought that, but I did. Okay, so now that we have wiped out the humans, let's go ahead and go home. What has happened at home? Uh, did we dig down here? We haven't. We haven't been attacked either, which is also good. So we have triggered a dragon. That's dangerous. Uh, let's go ahead and see what we got, though. Eh, okay. I mean, nothing, nothing super amazing, I don't think. These glyphs, though. Glyphs might be good. Gotta take uh, all the corpses, right? For zombies. What is this stuff? Panic. Panic mushroom. Increases defense, lowers damage. It only tells me how much damage it lowers. Funny. Alright, take all of that. Is there anything we do with that guy? No. So we also got this peasant prisoner. Let's go ahead and get them. Get uh, Gary the werewolf. Yes, please. Here's our war party. Coming back. Heroes. Oh, oh, okay, hold on a second. So, the zombie, he's got like all sorts of injured stuff on him. Arm, leg, he's collapsed. Injured head, legs, blind. Interesting. Uh, we might have to just get rid of those guys then. He's just slowed. Beat her up. Zombie! Man, look at all this gold we got. Oh, how many points can we spend? We got two research items. What do we take? What do we take? I feel like I need a demon shrine. Demon shrine and... 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 Hmm. Humanoid mutation. Let's go with the magical weapons. Yes. All right, now that we have the demon shrine, it only costs 30. It just increases luxury? Doesn't do anything else? All right, we'll put a couple of those in, but I don't think too many. Uh, we need like... We're gonna do something fancy here. I mean, we're gonna try to do something fancy. We're gonna have him dig these out and then we're going to uh, put some golden statues in. And what I'm building now, I, I think we're going to need more beds since our population just skyrocketed up. Ooh, a ghost. Now, wait, wait a second. The ghost has no attack. It just has defense. Huh. Um, I feel like that's not worth taking. We're not going to take it. We're not going to take it.
This will be a new, uh... New sort of living room. Oh, and you know, I think we gotta get uh, a few torches. Show off our gold statues, of course. And I think the torches actually affected what we were able to see when guys were attacking us, so let's get them in the hallways all over. And let's get some of our fine beds going. That should be sufficient for now, I think. Perfect. Perfect. Okay, what do we got going on down here? Artificer, Artificer, a new wizard. Did we lose any wizards? No. Uh, let's take a look at our wizards, though, real quick. Oh, hey, what is this? Is this magic? Spell damage. The ghosts have spell damage. Okay, I could have probably taken that ghost. Uh, what kind of spells do they have access to now? Anything interesting? Advanced magic missile. Okay, probably just does more damage then. Probably just does more damage then. Um, eh. Let's go ahead and get him. Also, what is this thing? Ice Demon. Ooh, temporary trait. Time to live 500 turns. Interesting. Interesting, interesting, interesting. So, it doesn't look like they cost anything. I really don't want to get it yet, because it's just going to chill here and not do anything. But if we were about to go on a, like, a new raid... Eh, eh, that would be, uh, something to try out. Alright, we gotta see what this is right there. And that right there. Hopefully, this guy is gonna go dig that right now. Man, this, uh, this dragon, I bet this dragon's gonna be real, real hard to take out. Place some torches to light up your dungeon. Do I need to? Ghost. We'll see what the ghost does. Okay, so this goes to lava, <laughs> but this goes to more lava. Great. Oh, oh wait, I saw something right there. I did. Also, uh... Fill lava or water. I think that's what we want to do. I'm afraid that if we did a bridge... Yeah, it will burn on lava. Absolutely. Okay. Fill. We're going to fill a path right over here. Nope. Not going anywhere. We're going to control you. Because we need to see what's over here. I could have swore I saw something pop up. Huh. But I don't see anything now. Keep it paused. You're probably not going to go too far, because we need you to dig. Uh-huh, uh-huh. We're going to have you dig, like... Straight down to there. Straight over to there. Got to come over to that gold. Up to this, and then up to over here. And that, I think, will be all of the mining spots here. And then lastly, ugh, I, we really gotta take a quick peek and see what's over there, right? Man, they're throwing lots of artificers at us. Lots and lots of them. All right, with that successful raid on the humans of France, Zava. Uh, <laughs> that has basically put us at time for the episode. So I really appreciate you joining us on uh, the raids today. You know, uh, increasing population, all sorts of cool stuff like that. This is Merc's Rain signing off.